bwana atukuzwe uh, majina yangu ni Stephen Joroge Solomon na Kristo ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu na mfurahia kwa sababu ya kuniokoa na kunirete umbali huu ameweza kunileta na mimi siku na na nashukuru na, 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 na nafasi na, na, na kwa sababu ya uh, vile Mungu ameandaa uh, niwe mimi ndio nitaongea siku ya leo na nashukuru askofu na mam pastor Aris na uongozi wote wachungaji kwa hii kanisa kwa sababu hata hii fursa sichukui kwa uh, njia ndogo lakini la, najua uh, nifuza mzuri na Mungu azidi kuwabariki na siko peke yangu uh, niko na mke wangu uh, Susan huyo uh, uh, ni mke wangu Susan Waithira na kwa neema ya Mungu tumeoana zaidi ya miaka 25 na, na tumebarikiwa na vijana waine na tunajua wasichana tutakuja kuiletea waine <laughs> yeah so uh, I, 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 leo tutakuwa na mabadiliko kidogo. Hii baada mara nyingi tunasoma uh, kwa, kwa, kwa Kiswahili lakini leo maandiko tutasoma na, kiz, na, na kizungu. Lakini mimi kuelezea na nitahubiri na Kiswahili. Na ile ujumbe tu, uh, ningetaka leo tu, tuangalie ni kuyakabidhi mkononi mwa Mungu nyakati na majira. Kuyakabidhi mkononi mwa Mungu nyakati na majira. That is commit your times and seasons in the hands of the Lord. Na tunajua kuna mambo mingi imefanyika wakati huu wa COVID kutoka 2019 hata pahali tumefika. Lakini kati ya hii kumekuwa na watu wengine wamekuwa wamepitia wakati ngumu sana. Na sisi wale wa, 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 wote tuko hapa ni washahidi kuwa mambo mingi imekuwa ikifanyika miongoni mwetu, nchini mwetu hata duniani mzima. Lakini jambo jingine nilikuwa naona hata kwa kwa hii wakati kuko na watu wengine na, nao wameweza mambo yao imeweza kwenda mzuri sana na wanasema hii majira tuko na hii nyakati Mungu amenionekania na nikikaa nilikuwa nafikiria kuhusu ule kijana alianza kutengeneza zile vitanda za hospitali kule pande ya Gedhongori na akapatiwa order kubwa sana mtu ambaye hata hakuwa amefikiria kuhusu 100000 akaanza kupatiwa order ya zaidi ya, milio, ya, ya, ya milioni ya so huyo ni Mungu kwa sababu nyakati na majira ziko mikononi mwake na tarehe mbili mwezi wa tisa, uh, tukiongozwa na Reverend Kaunda tuliweza kwenda mazishi ya uh, uh, tukizindikisha mmoja wetu ambaye alikuwa amepoteza mama yake kule ukambani. Na vile tuliweza kwenda kuko na jambo nilisikia na sijawahi kusikia kwingine mimi mimi mi, 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 na nasikia ni wachungaji ndio wanasema hivyo. Lakini huko nilipata nikaribu kila mtu alikuwa anasema hiyo huko kitui. Na wakiongea wakipatiwa nafasi ya kuongea alikuwa anasema uh, uende kule ulijichagulia. Uende kule ulijichagulia. Na hiyo mambo ni kwa sababu sikuwa nimeiona nilikuwa ni kama kitu ya kawaida. Mpaka ule mtu tulikuwa naye hapo karibu nikamuuliza yeye hii ni inasema akasema ukambani hakuna kubembeleza watu wanaeleza zangu hivyo. Lakini mara nyingi sisi ndio wachungaji ndio tunaambia watu lakini sana nikasikia ni kitu very common na kutoka siku hiyo nikaanza kuanza kuanza kuhusu hiyo. Na ningetaka tuangalie neno la Mungu Uh, kutoka wasoronika wasoronika wa, wa, wa kwanza uh, tano msari wa, wa kwanza mpaka wa kumi na moja. tutasoma na, na kimombo lakini tutajaribu kukimbia huu uh, ni Paulo alisema but concerning the times and season brethren you have no need that i should write to you for you uh, for you you are no perfectly that the day of the lord so comes as a thief in the night for when they say peace and safety Then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape but you brethren are not in darkness so that this day uh, should overtake you as a thief you are also sons of light and sons of the day we, we are not of, of the night or nor of darkness therefore let us not sleep as others do but let us watch and be sober for those who sleep sleep at night and those who, who who get drunk are drunk at night but let us who are of the day, day be sober putting on the uh, breastplate of faith and love as a helmet uh, as the helmet the hope of salvation for god did not appoint us to wrath but to to obtain salvation through our lord jesus christ who died for us that whether we wake or sleep we should live together with him therefore 
comfort each other, and edify one another, just as you also are doing. So, hii uh, andiko, ambaye tumeona iko katika wa the Thessalonica wa kwanza, tano mstari wa kwanza, paka uh, mstari wa, wa kumina moja. Inaongea, inatuereza vile tunataika kujianda, kwa sababu atuweza, atujui siku hile buwana Yesu ataweza kurudi. Yesu mwokozi wetu ataweza kurudi. Na hii andiko iliweza kuandikiwa waamini. Wale walikuwa memuamini. Na ndiposa anawaita brethren kwa sababu au ni waamini. Na hiyo ujumbe bado ndiyo iko kwetu siku ya leo. Na ndiposa tunambiwa hiyo siku ya buwana atakuja, usiku, atakuja kama vile mwizi uwa anakuja usiku. Kwa sababu mwizi ya kikuja akuambiangi aa pasa zake ni nitakuja satano. Kwa sababu akijua hivyo utakuwa mejianda. Lakini tumeambiwa hiyo siku ya buwana. Wakati Yesu atarudi, atarudi, hakuna mtu ataeza kuijua. Na hile swati natakana kujiuriza. Akirudi siku ya leo, nitakuwa niko pande gani. Iyo ndiyo swati hata mimi uwa na kana nikijiuriza. Na ndiposa hata iyo nilikuwa nasikia uko, uko kitui, ati uh, uende kure ulijichagulia. Au ujichagulia bada ya wewe kupumzika, lakini wakati ule uko hai uneza jichagulia. Kwa sababu mambo ni mawiri. Uneza amua kuzariwa marambiri. Na tena ukufe kifo maramoja. Lakini uneza, uneza chagua kuzariwa maramoja, lakini ukufe kifo marambiri. Kwa sababu uh, iko kifo marambiri kawara ambaya wajamini Yesu. Na iyo mustari watisa inasema, kwa sababu sisi uh, atu kuchagurua tue, uh, kwa, tue uh, kwa, kwa, kwa kathabu ya mungu, lakini ndiyo tupokea wokofu kupitia Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu, ambaya alikufa kwa jiri yetu. Ndiposa tukae kama uh, uh, tumeamuka, na kama tumerara au kama tumeamuka, tuwe pamoja na yeye. So njia ni moja, na njia ni kupitia uh, wokovu ambayo inatokana na Yesu Kristo, kwa sababu ya yare aliweza kutufanyia msarabani. Tuone hiyo andiko ingine ambayo iko kwa ya, Yakobo ine, mustari wa kuminatatu mpaka kuminatano. Yakobo ine, mustari wa kuminatatu mpaka kuminatano. Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow, we will go to such and such a city, spend an year there, buy and sell, and make a profit. A profit. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? It's even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we shall live and do this and that. Hapo, mtume Yakobo, Yakobo ana, ana, anatuambia, tuse kajigambe kuhusu kesho. Kwa sababu, nyakati na majira iko mikononi mwa mungu. Ndiposo natakana kusema, kama ukona jambo unapanga, unaweka mungu kwa hiyo mpango. Unasema, mungu akijaria. Nitaeza kufanya hii, na nitaeza kufanya hii. Na, ndio, na hapa tukambio, sisi ni kama uh, mfuke, ya uh, mist, uh, ambaye uwe iko kwa, kwa muda kidogo, badai natoeka. So ni vizuri, uh, tutamani, tukabidi uh, nyakati zetu na majira, mikononi mwa mungu. Na iko mtu moja napenda uh, uh, kufu, kumfuata na uyu ni Daudi. Na Daudi, uh, ii ni mutafanya homu wa kena unajua nita wapatia homu wa kimbiri. Hii homu wa kia kwanza mutasoma badai, lakini zaburi dharadhini na moja. Zaburi dharadhini na moja, hiyo mutasoma peke enye. <coughs> lakini hiyo dharadhini na moja, Daudi kutoka mustari wa kwanza mpaka mustari wa, na, wa nane, yeye anakiri kuwa uh, mungu ni kimbirio na ngome yake. Na Iyo anaizungumzia ana, 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 ana sana na anasema kweri mungu ni, ni, uh, ni kimbirio ata, a, a, ata ngawa yake. <clears throat> Lakini baadae tunawana kutoka mustari wa tisa mpaka kuminatano, anatuonyesha zire nyakati anapitia. Na hizo nyakati zilikuwa nyakati ngumu. Ambaye maadui wake walikuwa memuinukia, wale walikuwa majirani wake hata na walikuwa memuinukia, watu wengine walikuwa na mchekerea, Na, 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 hata maj, na, na hata wale watu walikuwa karibu na ye, walikuwa na muona, wanakimbia. Uneza imaji ni watu wanakuona, wanakimbia. So, in, unaona ni kama kila mtu wanakuchukia. Ye alikuwa kwa hiyo hari. Lakini, bada ya riweza kufika mustari wa kumina ine, mpaka kumina tano, hapo hata kama alikuwa napitia hiyo nyakati ngumu, akafika pahari ya kasema, tumaini yangu iko ndani yako, mungu, uh, iko ndani yako buwana. Buwana mungu wangu. Na baadae mstari wa kuminatano ndiyo akasema nyakati zangu ziko mikononi mwako. Nyakati zangu ziko mikononi mwako. That my times, that is Psalms that one verse uh, 15 uh, in the NIV. Uh, Psalms that one verse, uh, 
tunaanza verse 14 acha tusome verse 14 14 to 15 so baada ya hiyo mambo yote baada ya anakuja anasema i trust in you lord i say you are my 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 my, lord, my god my times are in your hands akasema hata kama alikuwa anapitia hiyo nyakati zote akasema nyakati zangu ziko mikononi mwako na ya mwisho uh, tukisoma uh, kwa hiyo area uh, uh, ni matendo ya mitume moja matendo ya mitume moja sita mpaka saba. Uh, na neno linasema uh, therefore when they had come together they asked him saying lord will you at, at this time restore the kingdom of israel and he said to them it's not for you to know times or seasons which the father has put in his own authority Haa ni wanafunzi wa Yesu ambaye walikuwa pamoja na akamuendea akamuuliza je uh, wakati huu ndio utaweza kurejesha ufalme wa Israeli lakini yeye aliweza kuwajibu Yesu akawajibu akawaambia si 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 nyinyi muweza kujua nyakati na majira yale baba amweka kwa mamlaka yake na ndiposa vile uh, uh, tumesema ni vyema tutamani kuyakabidhi nyakati zetu na majira mikononi mwa Mungu Sijui unapitia nyakati gani. Pengine ni wakati unasherekea una kwa sababu ya yale Mungu anatenda juu ya maisha yako. Pengine ni mambo unapitia una ngumu na unauliza una pengine hii siku itaisha namna gani. Unaona kama siku azisongi. Lakini kwa hiyo yote kama Daudi vile alisema tunaweza fanya Mungu awe tumaini yetu. Na akiwa tumaini yetu tutakuwa kama ile ule mti ambao umepandwa kando kando ya mto ambao haukauki hata kukiwa na jaa aina gani lakini wewe unazaa matunda wakati ule unastahili so hiyo ndio tungetamani tuweke tumaini yetu ndani ya Mungu na pengine unaweza kuwa unauliza kwa nini tuikabidhi uh, kwa nini tuikabidhi uh, 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 mikononi mwa Mungu nyakati na majira yetu so maybe this is a question that was asking why do we need to commit our times and seasons in the hands of the lord kwa sababu uh, uh, kumbuka kichwa tulisema ni kuyakabidhi nyakati na majira mikono, uh, uh, yetu uh, mikononi mwa Mungu. Na niko na sababu saba ambayo ningetaka uh, 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 ningetaka uh, tuweza kuona. Na ya kwanza uh, sababu ya kuweza kuyakabidhi uh, mikononi mwa Mungu wetu nyakati na majira yetu. Ya kwanza ni kuwa ufalme wa Mungu ni wa milele na hautingiziki. Mamlaka yake ni ya vizazi vyote. Nitarudia ufalme wa Mungu ni wa milele na na hautingiki. Mamlaka yake ni ya vizazi yote. Na neno la Mungu katika Zaburi uh, 145 mstari wa 13 uh, ndio inasema kuwa ufalme ufalme wa Mungu ni wa milele. Naye mamlaka yake ni ya, ni ya vizazi zote. Na tukiangalia wa Hebrania 12 mstari wa, wa, wa 28 a, 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 wakati wako unaweza soma kutoka 18 pale lakini hii 28 wa Hebrania 12:28 mwandishi hapa anasema a, kwa sababu ya hii tumepokea ufalme ambaye huwezi tingizika na tuache neema a, ifanye kazi juu ya maisha yetu hata tunapotumikia Mungu kama tunaendelea kumucha na ya mwisho kwa hii, kwa hii point ni Zaburi 29 mstari wa kumi na kumi na moja. Na neno la Mungu linatuambia uh, mstari wa kumi kuwa Bwana yeye amekaria ame, ame juu ya garika. Mungu amekaa ame kama mfalme milele. Baadaye tunaona mstari wa kumi na moja kuwa anatia watu wake nguvu na anawabariki na amani yake. So tunaambiwa that uh, kuwa Bwana ameketi juu ya garika. Naam, Bwana ameketi uh, ameketi hari ya mfalme milele. So tumesikia kuwa ufalme wa Mungu ni wa milele. Ni ufalme ambaye hautingiki. Na tena tumesikia mamlaka yake ni ya vizazi zote. Ile swali ningetaka kukuuliza na nijiulize wewe ni memba wa huyo ufalme. Hiyo ufalme ambaye ni wa milele hautingiki na mamlaka yake ni ya vizazi zote. Unaweza jichagulia siku ya leo Yesu awe mwokozi wa maisha yako. Na hiyo hatua ukiichukua 
itakuwa na faida hata kwa, 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 kwa watoto na watoto wako ukikaa kama umemcha Mungu pako na faida diposa uh, diposa Mungu akiongea na wanaisraeli katika Yeremia 32 mstari wa uh, 39 akawaambia anitawapatia uh, uh, moyo moja mmuche mimi kwa sababu ya faida yenu na faida ya watoto wa watoto wenu so ni vizuri tujue uh, uh, sababu ya sisi kuyakabidhi mkononi mwa Mungu wetu nyakati na majira ni kwa sababu uh, ufalme wake ni wa mirere na hautingiki mamlaka yake ni ya vizazi zote so the kingdom of god is everlasting and unshakable his dominion endures through all generations na ni vizuri ujiulize hata tukiendelea wewe ni memba wa hiyo ufalme bwana atukuzwe jambo ya pili uh, tunaona bwana ni mwema kwa maana fadhili zake ni za mirere bwana ni mwema kwa kuwa ma, kwa, kwa maana fadhili zake ni za mirere the lord is good his love endures forever na hiyo unaweza iona katika psalms 107 verse, verse 1 zaburi uh, zaburi 107 mstari na, uh, wa, wa kwanza zaburi 107 mstari wa kwanza na baadaye kuko na homu wa kingine na hiyo utaweza kuangalia wakati wako zaburi uh, 136 kutoka mstari wa kwanza mpaka mstari wa 26 na mwana zaburi hapa yeye anakiri mambo mingi na akimalizia anasema uh, anasema bwana ni mwema kwa kuwa, kwa maana fadhili zake ni za mirere hata wewe kama ungeambiwa na unakiri yale Mungu ameweza kutenda juu juu ya maisha yako na jua unaweza kiri mengi yale ameweza kufanya juu ya maisha yako kwa sababu Mungu ni mwema na ndiposa iko mwimbaji alimba akasema Mungu ni mwema wakati wa, kufu, wa, wa furaha wa, wakati wa majozi Mungu ni mwema so ni vizuri tuweza kujua Mungu ni mwema Bwana atukuzwe Jambo ya tatu a, ni kuwa hekma na uweza ni za Mungu wetu yeye hubadiri nyakati na majira. Hekima na uweza ni za Mungu wetu. Yeye hubadiri nyakati na majira. Neno la Mungu katika Danieli 2 Danieli 2 uh, mstari wa uh, 19 mpaka 21a uh, uh, wacha tuone vile inasema during the night the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven and said Praise be the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are his. He changes times and seasons. Tafikisha hapo. Hapa neno la Mungu la Mungu linatuambia hekima na uweza ni za Mungu. Ni za Mungu wetu. Yeye hubadiri nyakati na majira. Na ndiposa siku ya leo sijui uko kwa nyakati gani, sijui kama sijui uko kwa majira gani. Lakini ukijuana na huyu Mungu Yeye akona uwe, uweza na hekima ya kubadilisha nyakati na majira. Na watu wengi wanafuata miujiza. Lakini ni vizuri tujuana na huyu Mungu ambaye yeye anatenda miujiza, ambaye anabadilisha nyakati na majira. Tunakumbuka wakati mmoja kwa Biblia pale Samaria kulikuwa na njaa kuu sana ikabidi wakati mmoja hata mama waliambiana waweze kukula uh, leo tukule mtoto wako kesho tukule uh, uh, tukule mtoto huyu mwingine lakini baada ya hiyo tunaona mambo baada ya saa 24 mambo ilibadilika na vile ilibadilika ni kwa sababu uh, hekima na uweza ni za Mungu kubadilisha nyakati na majira so yeye anaweza fanya yale mwanadamu hawezi fanya Ndiposa tunataikana ku, uh, ku, uh, uh, kuweza kumkabidhi kuikabidhi nyakati na majira yale tuko naye mikononi mwake. Bwana atukuzwe. Uh, uh, point ya ine, uh, uh, ya ine ni kuwa ufahamu ufahamu wetu una mpaka. Ufahamu wetu uko na mpaka lakini ufahamu wa Mungu wetu hauna mpaka na hauwezi kuchunguza uwezi kuchunguzika so our understanding is limited but his understanding has no limit and is unsearchable so ndio tunasema ufahamu wetu una mpaka au kipimo lakini ufahamu wa Mungu wetu hauna mpaka au kipimo na hauwezi kuchunguzika 
Wacha tuone neno la Mungu vile linatuambia katika Zaburi moja na na saba mstari wa tano. Uh, inasema great is our God mighty in power his understanding has no limit. Hii neno inatuambia inatu kuwa uh, Mungu bo, bo, Mungu Bwana wetu uh, ako na uweza na ufahamu wake au na kipimo. Na wacha tuone Zaburi uh, wacha, 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 wacha tuone Isaya Isaia 40 mstari wa 28. Na inasema have you not known have you not heard the everlasting God the, the Lord the creator of the ends of of the earth neither faints nor is weary his understanding is unsearchable so hapa neno la Mungu inauliza je hujajua au jaskia kuwa Mungu wa milele ni Bwana Mungu wa milele yeye ndio mumba wa wa mwisho wa dunia na yeye apungukiwi na nguvu au kuchoka na ufahamu wake hauwezi kuchunguzika Bwana atukuzwe Uyo ndiyo mungu unataikana kukabidhi. Hata wakati ule awezi kuerewa yale unapitia. Une, uneza ikabidhi eh, juu ya mungu. Na ndiposa neno la mungu rinasema katika Deuteronomy 29, 29. That the sacred things belongs to God. But those revealed are ours and our children. Kukona mambo imefichika kwetu. Lakini tunajua mungu jeye anafahamu mambo yote. Na hii wiki uh, 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 siku ya ramisi Thursday. Iko jambo ilifanyika kwangu. Na nikaachwa nikisema yenyewe uh, ufahamu wa Mungu awezi uh, awezi um, chunguzika. Niko na umbwa uh, hizi inaitwa German Shepherd Bill. Na kila siku huwa najaribu kuzifungia kama stoki mapema na zifungia quarter to 6. Na hiyo siku nikaamuka nikazifungia. Na lakini siku angalia ndani Na kanyumba ni kubwa kidogo Badai ni kona wafanyikazi walikuwa wanakuja Badai mmoja kaniuliza E, eh, kweni iko nini? Naona iko kuku ambaye iko kwa hii nyumba ya, ya umbwa Na sayo unasikia ilikuwa ni 6.45 Wakatua ilikuwa masawa mawiri badai Iyo ni 8.45 Iyo ni kusema zilikuwa zimekaa pamoja umbwa mbiri German Shepherd na kuku Lakini uh, hizo umbo aziku azikuwa zimeguza ile kuku kuku ilikuwa inatembea tu kama catwalk hata haina wasiwasi hmm? so nikafungua mlango nikaambia nikaambia hao wafanyikazi and then pande ile uh, kwa gate pande ile nyingine ndio umbo zikarukie so nikajifungua ati ndio umbo zitoke umbo azikuwa zinatoka kwa sababu saa zinaniogopa nimezionyesha authority mimi ndio niko na authority so ilibidi niingie kidogo nikatoa kuku kuku hata haina 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 shughuli mingi inatoka pole pole eh? Iyo nakwambia kama inaenda catwalk ne? Na ndiposa ni, uh, Badu uh, ndiyo nikaona hakika Ufahamu wa mungu Awezi chunguzika Kwa sababu mungu ambaye Funga simba mudomo Ambaye haku mura danieri Hata siku ya reo Badu anafanya hivyo Kwa sababu iyo siku Izo umbwa Na mbereni zimesha ikukula kuku Lakini iyo siku aziku iguza Kwa sababu jambu hile likuwe mefanyika Na fikiri yo, 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 yo kuku ilikuwa imeachwa ikakosa kuingia pahali na istahiri kuingia. So wakatule iliona muangaza, iliangalia ni wapi uh, ineza ingia, ika ingia. So umbwa ziripata kule. Nikama, nikama sasa umbwa ziripata arama ya mushangao zinashindua, hii ata inatugojea hapa. <laughs> so uyo ndio mungu wetu. Ufahamu wetu ukona kipimo. Lakini ufahamu wa mungu wetu hauna kipimo na hauwezi kuchunguzika. Bwana atukuzwe. Hiyo uh, ingine ni kuwa mungu wetu hutangaza mwisho tangu mwazo Na, uh, na, na alifahamu siku zetu uh, ziri, uh, ziri, zirizo amuliwa kabra uh, hazijawa badu So he declares the end from the beginning and ordained the days of our lives before any of them came to be So hapa atikuwa mungu wetu uh, uh, hutangaza mwisho pale mwanzo Na alifahamu siku zetu zilizo amuliwa kabra azijatimia ata mmoja yao itimie. Na neno la Mungu katika Isaia 46 mstari wa 10 inasema declaring uh, uh, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times that are not yet done saying my counsel will stand and I'll do all all my uh, I'll do all my pressure. So hapo yeye huwa natangaza mwisho 
pare mwanzo wewe mara nyingi hata ujuangi ni nini itaweza kutokea kama vile hatuwezi kukiulizwa siku ya leo ni itafanyika baada ya dakika tano. mimi sijui na hata wewe hujui lakini Mungu wetu anatangaza mwisho pale mwanzo na hiyo neno nyingine ni katika Zaburi 139 Zaburi 139 mstari wa 15 na 16 uh, neno la Mungu nasema my frame was not hidden from you when i was made in the sacred place when i was woven together in the depths of the earth you are i saw my unformed body all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be siku zile mungu alikuamuria akasema hizi ndio siku zako aliweza kuziandika kwa kitabu yake kabla hata moja ya, ya hizo siku azijatimia huyo ndio mungu wetu ndiposa tunaweza weka nyakati zetu na majira mikononi mwake kama vile Daudi ye yeah, ndio alikuwa uh, uh, maadui alikuwa amemuinukia uh, marafiki walikuwa wamemtoroka uh, wame na hata watu wengine walikuwa namuona anakimbia lakini ye yeah, akasema nyakati zangu ziko mikononi mwako so hata sisi siku ya leo ejarishi ni nyakati gani tunapitia haijarishi ni majira gani lakini tunaweza sema nyakati zetu na majira zetu iko mikononi mwako Bwana atukuzwe. Na ya sita nilisema ni saba so nimebakisha mbili. Ah uh, hiyo ingine ni hatua zetu kuelekezwa na Bwana. Hatua zetu kuelekezwa na Bwana katika nyakati na majira yote na kubaki kuwa msaada wetu. God orders our steps in all times and seasons and remains our help. Siku ya leo sijui we msaada wako ni nani. Lakini Mwana Sabira alisema nitazama kwa, 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 kwa mlima na msaada wangu unatoka wapi? Lakini akakiri akasema msaada wangu unatoka kwa Mungu bwana wangu. Lakini hakusema tu Mungu lakini alisema Mungu bwana wangu. Kwa sababu kumfanya bwana ni kuwa yeye ndio anatawara maisha yako. Na kama vile tuliweza ku uh, uh, ile wimbo tuliweza kuimba anatawara. Hmm. Kwa kila hali anatawara. Na na, na ndiposa mliweza kusikia neno la Mungu katika hiyo Zaburi 29 mstari wa kumi kuwa at, Mungu amekaa juu ya garika. Na tunajua garika ikikuja akuangi kuzuri watu wanashindwa wana, wana hata atajishikilia wapi lakini ye ameinuka ameketi juu ya hiyo ambaye huwa inakutisha. Na pako na hii wimbo na kizungwa inaimbo <coughs> uh, that our, uh, our eyes through, through the, 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 the um, his, uh, you will be king over the frauds. Mm. Yeye atakuwa ni mfalme juu ya dhoruba, juu ya 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 hiyo garika. Huyo ni Mungu wetu. Lakini baadaye tunaambiwa ati yeye ni anaketi kama mfalme milele na milele. So hakuna wakati huwa anatoka kwa kiti yake ya enzi. Yeye anatawara. Lakini siku ya leo naweza kukuuliza tunajua kuna maufalme au ufalme aina mbili. Kuko na ufalme wa, wa nuru na ufalme wa giza. Ile kitabu tulianza kusoma ile ya uh, uh, Thessalonika wa kwanza msali wa tano, alikuwa anaongeresha hao ambao wanajuana na yeye na alikuwa anawaita uh, kuwa hao ni wafalme wa wa, wa, wa wa nuru lakini tunajua kuko na ufalme wa giza so ni vizuri tuweza kujua huyo ni Mungu wetu uh, tunaweza achilia maisha yetu ndani ya Mungu wetu lakini kwa sababu Mungu wetu yeye yeye ndio huwa huwa ana anaongoza hatua zetu anaelekeza hatua zetu katika nyakati zote na katika majira yote lakini anabaki kuwa msaada wetu neno la Mungu katika Zaburi 37 23 mpaka 25 inasema the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord and he delights in his ways other versions inasema uh, 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 the steps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord though he fall hata kama anaweza anguka lakini yeye atabaki huko kwa sababu Mungu atamshika na mkono wake. Na mstari wa 25. Na hapa Daudi akakiri akasema nilikuwa mchanga na sasa mimi ni mzee. Lakini sijawahi kuona mwenye haki akiachwa au uzao wake ukiomba mkate. Huyo ndio Mungu wetu. Tukijiachilia tuki kwake yeye ataelekeza nyayo zetu. Na tena tuone Zaburi Uh, 119 mstari wa 130 na 3 Psalm uh, 
ya ndio ina hapa mwanasaburi ndio alikuwa anasema nielekeza hatua zangu kwa neno lako na usikaache dhambi iwe ndio itatawara mashani mwangu that direct my steps by your word and let no iniquity have dominion over me so, so neno la Mungu ndio inaweza tuongoza na Mungu ameinua uh, neno lake juu hata ya jina lake so ni vizuri tuweza kukiri yale neno la Mungu linasema uh, juu ya maisha yetu na tuweza kuamini kwa sababu bila imani hatuwezi furahisha Mungu wetu Bwana atukuzwe na ya mwisho uh, nitasema kwanza na kizungu there is a turn around when we are our god do not only to also be our lord there is a turn around when we are our god to, to also to also be uh, to, not, uh, to, to also be our lord maisha yetu yatakuwa uh, yatakuwa na mabadiliko uh, tukimkubali yesu awe uh, bwana na mokozi wetu iko tofauti Mungu ni Mungu na kwa sababu alituumba si zote. He is God. Lakini we unazijichagulia awe tu ye yeah, si Mungu tu. Lakini awe ndio Bwana wako. He will be your Lord. Na nikitaka ku, uh, nikitaka ku, kufahamu uh, ndio niweza kufahamu vizuri hata, hata nyinyi muweze kufahamu vizuri tofauti ya Mungu na Bwana. Si yeah, si Mungu tu lakini ni Mungu Bwana wangu. Zamani kulikuwa na na mateka wale walikuwa wanashikwa na mateka akishikwa au ni slaves walikuwa ni kama chombo ni kama property ni kitu ungeuza hapo huyo ni mtu hakuwa na haki yoyote na huyo mtu akiuzwa angesema chochote uh, ukimununua sasa ungefanya na yeye vile angetaka ungetaka lakini tunajua sisi kama wanadamu vile tuko huru tuko na haki zetu lakini huyo huyo slave mateka hakuwa na haki na kuko na hadithi moja napenda kupeana uh, ya huyu msichana alikuwa ni mateka na akaweza kuwekwa kwa ile box ya munara tunajua tu, tumeshaikuona munara pahali uh, watu wanaambiana hii elfu moja, nani elfu moja mwingine anasema mimi elfu moja mia mbili paka watu wanabishana na uh, jamaa moja ambaye alikuwa ni mstarabu yeye akipita akaona pako na wanaume wawili ambao wanabishana kuhusu huyu msichana moja mateka na huyo mwanaume mungwana akipita akajiuliza aka je hawa waki, wakinunua huyu msichana watamfanyia nini kwa sababu ya vile alikuwa anaona hata wakiongea alikuwa anaona huyu akimshika hata wanaweza muumiza lakini vile alifanya huyo mwanaume mungwana aliweza kutoa pesa zile zilikuwa za juu kabisa na akaweza kununua yule msichana He made the highest bid. Na akanunua ule msichana. Diposa akapatiwa makaratasi ya kuambua sasa huyu msichana ni wako. Lakini wakati ule alipatiwa ule alipatiwa hiyo makaratasi ya kuambia huyu msichana sasa ni wako. Ye akaandikia ule msichana makaratasi ya kumwambia sasa wewe ni huru. Lakini ule msichana badala ya kwenda alianguka miguuni mwake. Akamwambia usikaniachilie niende. Ningataka kutumikia Bwana kama wewe mashani mwangu. So there, was, so there is this uh, uh, this slave girl who was in a auction box and there were these two very rough guys who were trying to uh, to buy her but this gentleman passed by and uh, and made the highest bid but when he was given the the, the, the letters uh, of, that he owned the girl she wrote the release, the release papers and after that 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 girl fell at his feet and told him please don't let me go i'd like to serve a master like you for the rest of my life So sijui kama wewe unaweza ona yale Yesu aliweza kufanya msarabani na utamani kuwa yeye su, si Mungu lakini ni Mungu bwana wako kwa sababu umepatiana maisha yako kwake ndio aendelee kukutawara kwa sababu yeye anatawara lakini yeye ni Mungwana yeye ni Mungwana ni lazima ujikabidhi ukabidhi maisha yako, ya, yako kwake yeye hawezi kukuitisha yeye tu wewe unaweza jichagulia na siku ya leo unaweza jichagulia na acha uh, uh, pale tuliweza kusoma wa Thessalonike tano mstari wa pili wa tisa na wa kumi inasema for you yourself know perfectly that the day of the lord so comes as a thief in night in the night for god did not appoint us uh, to wrath but to obtain salvation through our lord jesus christ who died for us that whether we wake we awake 
or sleep, we should live together with him. Hapa tunakumbushwa kuwa yeye angetamani tusikaweze kuangamia. Lakini tupokee tupokee wokovu kupitia kwa Bwana Yesu Kristo ambaye alikufa kwa sababu kwa sababu ya kwa sababu yetu ndipo sasa tuweze kuishi na yeye. Naacha tuone Wakorintho wa pili, Wakorintho wa pili, sita na mbili. Nasema for he says in an, in an acceptable time I've had you and in the day of salvation I've helped you. Behold now is the accepted time. Behold now is the day of salvation. So hapa Paulo ndiye alikuwa anaambia Wakorintho na alikuwa anawaambia tazama leo ndio wakati nastahili. Tazama hii ndio siku ya wokovu. Sijui umekuwa ukiairisha kwa sababu ya nini. Lakini nikisimama hapa na wengi ambao wako hapa kaika nisani wanaweza kiri kwa waseme kwa kweli Mungu anaokoa na anadumisha. Kwa sababu neno katika Yohana kumi, inasema kuwa yeye ni mrishiaji kondomu. Unajua kwa na vile unaweza mtu mtu anaweza kuelezea kuhusu wewe. Na kwa na vile wewe unaweza jielezea. Lakini Yesu Kristo akaelezea na akasema mimi ni mrishiaji kondomu mwema. Na ninachunga kondoo zangu vyema. Na mimi si kama ule ule mchungaji ambaye huwa anaajiriwa kwa sababu huyo wanyama wakivamia huwa anatoroka na anaacha kondoo. Lakini yeye ameahidi hata tuacha kamwe. Ukiachilia maisha yako ukikabidhi maisha yako kwake. Ukikabidhi nyakati zako na, 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 na majira yale huko ndani yake, maisha yako itakuwa na kubadilika. There will be a turn around. Kwa sababu anaokoa na anadumisha. So hiyo ndio changamoto ningeweza kupatia mmoja wetu kama uko hapa na unajuana na Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yako. Uh, kumbuka tulianzia na kusema jambo ya kwanza tukasema ufalme wake ni wa milele na utingiziki. Na tena uh, yu, yu, na, na mama mraka yake ni ya vizazi hadi vizazi. Is for all is through is for uh, endures all through genera- all, all through all generations. So hiyo ndio ufalme. Kuko na ufalme aina mbili, ufalme wa nuru na ufalme wa giza. Na si zote tunajua tulizaziwa alikuwa na dhambi lakini siku ya leo unaweza uh, fungua kinywa chako na waambie Yesu kuja ndani yangu badilisha maisha yangu na akiingia ndani yako atabadilisha maisha yako na mambo yako itakuwa mzuri sijui kama unaweza kuwa uko hapo hata pengine pale nje na ungetamani Yesu aye mokozi wa maisha yako na ataweza kubadilisha maisha yako atakupatia tama, tumaini ya maisha na atakubebea mizigo kwa sababu mzigo wake ni mwepesi mm. Sijui kama unaweza kuwa hapo na ungetamani Yesu unaweza inua tu mkono na nitaweza kuiona e, naona kuko na wale wawili mnaweza simama tupigie bwana makosa msimame wale kule na, nani, na, nani, nani mwingine nani mwingine angetamani Yesu uh, Yesu aingie maisha ni mwake okay uh, Pasta Zakari uh, mnaweza teremka hapa kidogo mkuja hapa Pasta Zakari Pasta Gitau utashikanisha na Pasta Zakari wale wawili mnaweza teremka na mtusaidie baadaye mrudi hapo kwa ibada So tupigie bwana makofi kwa sababu yeye yeah, huwa anaokoa na anadumisha na yeye ni Mungu asiyeshindwa Asante kwa sababu ya hiyo hatua mnaweza kuchukua Mungu azidi kuwabariki na endelee kujidhihirisha juu ya maisha, eh, maisha yenu na mtamuona akiwa mkuu na mwaminifu so siku ya leo pengine mnaweza kuja siku ya leo na msahau siku ya leo lakini nakwambia hao wapendo wa wawili hawatawahi kusahau siku ya leo Aa, kama mimi siku ile niliyokoka ilikuwa tarehe 18 mwezi wa 8 1996 na hata vile nilikuwa nimevalia na vile nilienda ndio ndio niweze kukubali Yesu aingie ndani ya maisha yangu in hata nikikumbuka ni kama ni kama ilifanyika jana tu so kwa sababu ye ni Mungu mwema na ye ndio uwa, uh, roho wa Mungu ndio ana convict na anajua ataendelea kufanya mema na makuu Niki, uh, nikimalizia uh, saa zingine sisi tunakuwa na mipango na ndoto zetu na wakati tunapangia itafikia uh, kwa, uh, kwa, kwa ratiba yetu lakini saa zingine tunaona haifanyiki ni kwa sababu sisi tuna, tume, tumeona ufahamu wetu uko na kipimo lakini ufahamu wa Mungu hauna kipimo ndipo sasa ni vizuri kupatiana mipango yetu kupatiana nyakati zetu na majira zetu mikononi mwa Mungu na ni vizuri uh, wapendwa tuweze kujua 
Kwa mfarume wa mungu, kila majira si majira ya kuvuna. Kwa mfarume wa mungu, kila majira si majira ya kuvuna. Kuko na majira zingine. Na ni vizuri, na, na, na bila hizo majira zingine, majira ya kupanda, ya, ya kulima, uh, ya kupanda, na hiyo ingine, atuwezi pata hiyo majira ya kuvuna. So ni vizuri, hata tukipitia zile majira tunapitia, tunaambia mungu, ungataha kunifunza jambu gani. Kwa, nikipitia kwa hii, ungataha kunifunza jambu gani. Kama hiyo hadithi nimeweza kuwapatia kuhusu uh, umbo, umbo na, na kuku, mimi tu niliona ukuu wa mungu. Na nikaona kweli ufahamu wa mungu au na kipimo. Mi si, si, si kuerewa nini nilifanyika, lakini niliona mungu. So, siku ya leo, uh, vile tumesema ni vizuri tujiamulie. Na, tu, uh, na, 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 na tujiamulie kupatia, kuikabithi. Kuikabithi, kuikabithi, to commit, kuikabithi. Ndiyo umekua uh, uh, ukijiongoza, unaona uyu in full control. Lakini ukabithi, hizo nyakati zako na majira yako mbere za mungu. Wacha uh, musimame tuweza kumalizia. Our Father and our God in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you and we want to glorify you, King of glory, because you are God and there is none like you. Worthy to be praised, Lord, and worthy to be adored. Thank you, Lord, for your word that is living and refreshing Jehovah God, which you liken to a hammer that breaks rock into, uh, that, a fire that refines, and like a hammer that breaks rock into pieces. I thank you, Jehovah God, because, Lord, to minister to us, Lord, even through this, this day and even through this week, Jehovah God, and that heavenly Father will keep asking ourselves, when uh, the day of the Lord comes, when we, where will we be? Will we be in the right kingdom? How I pray that for each one of us, Jehovah God, that, Lord, you will make the right decision, to know you as Lord and Savior of our lives, to be citizens of the kingdom of God, which is everlasting, unshakable. And Lord, your dominion is, uh, and do us through all, gener all, all generations to the honor and to the praise, Lord, of your holy name. Lord, I lift your people to you, King of glory. Yes, they are, they are passing through different times, Lord, and seasons. But Lord, it's encouraging to know King of glory, Lord, as your word reminded us that wisdom and power belongs to you. You change as times, Lord, and seasons, King of glory. Lord, may you come through for them, Jehovah God. Because, Lord, you as Lord is greatness, its power, its glory, its spread, Lord, and majesty, Jehovah God. Glorify yourself, Lord, in their lives, Jehovah God, to the honor and to the praise, Lord, of your holy name. Lord, even as we begin this new week, Jehovah God, may you go before us, may you be our rear guard, may you give us victory, Lord, to the honor and to the praise, Lord, of your holy name. Be glorified and be exalted. For there is none like you. We thank you, Lord, for the two lives, Lord, that have come to you, Jehovah God. We are witnesses, Lord, you save and you sustain. And thank you because, Lord, of that which, Lord, you have in store for them. For them, Jehovah God, I declare, Psalms 1, verse 19, that how abundant are the good things that you have stored up for they that fear you, which you bestow on them that, uh, that, that seek you, uh, uh, Lord, that, that put their trust in you, King of glory. Heavenly Father, be glorified and be exalted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.